back with another review and for today i'm going to review this concealer right here and this is the royal true match super blendable concealer um actually i got this along with the foundation that i recently reviewed so if you also wanted to watch the royal true match um foundation review i will be putting the link in the description box below so I got it for 400 pesos because they were on sale as I said on my first video but I think the original price of this one is 600 plus but I am not really sure so I'm going to update you on that at the description box below. Let me now um, read to you the claims of this concealer. So it says on their website that it is a super blendable skin true concealer. This appears into the skin while providing coverage to conceal all imperfections. Actually, they have 5 shades available but I specifically got W45 or the light to medium. I'm not really sure if you can see it but that's the shade that I got. And they also claim that the, this concealer has a light to medium coverage. I was actually shocked when I found out on their website that this concealer right here um, has a light to medium coverage because the sales lady who assisted me said that it has a full coverage. So yeah, anyways, um, I will be showing you the demo on how I applied this concealer and after that, I'm going to give you my thoughts about this concealer. Hi guys, so as you can see, I don't have any bad under eye circles today and the foundation I used pretty much covered it but I'm still using this concealer to highlight it and to look more away. As you can see, this concealer comes with a brush applicator so I didn't have any difficulties in applying the product under my eye area. And now, I'm just making an inverted triangle under my eye area to highlight it. And now, I'm using my ring finger to blend this concealer out. And I'm also putting some um, of this concealer on my lid area just to prime it for the shadows that I'm going to use later. And just to make sure that it doesn't have um, harsh edges, I'm using my obstacle brush to further blend it out. As you can see, the right side of my face looks more awake than the other side. But if you look closer, as you can see, it did emphasize um, my fine lines. So yeah, that's one thing that I didn't like about it. So now I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the other side of my face. So yeah, I'll just fast forward it because you've already seen what I did earlier.
guys, so I'm back and let us now discuss the pros and the cons of this concealer. So the first thing that I like about this concealer is it's really blendable. So you won't put too much effort in blending this concealer. The second thing that I like about this concealer is its packaging. So as you can see, it's a very small, so you can just throw it in your pouch and you're ready to go. The second thing that I like about the packaging of this concealer is it comes along with this um, brush applicator. So it's not that hard for you to apply the concealer or the product under your eye area. The third thing that I like about this concealer is it tightens up my under eye area. So um, I look more awake, especially on those days that I didn't get enough sleep. As for the cons or the things that I didn't like about it, um, the first thing on my list is it emphasizes my fine lines. The second thing that I didn't like about this concealer is its coverage. Since it has a light to medium coverage, it doesn't um, cover my under eye circles that well. And finally, the last thing that I don't like about this concealer is it freezes and it becomes transparent after a few hours of application. So it's as if that you didn't put any concealer under your eye area and you look um, older than you really are. So overall, I honestly think that this concealer is not worth your money. I wouldn't recommend this to you guys because as I said, um, it emphasizes your fine lines, it creases, and it doesn't cover um, your under eye circles. And especially if you have this kind of breakout, it wouldn't be hidden with the coverage that this concealer gives. So. Yeah, I just wouldn't recommend this concealer because it didn't work for me. But if someone who's watching my video um, that has a different uh, experience in using the, this concealer, please do share your experience in the comment section or in the comment box below so that we'll be able to know how to make this concealer work. So those are my thoughts about this concealer. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And by the way, if you have products that you wanted uh, me to review, please just leave your comment down below. And yeah, don't forget what I always say to you guys. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Make your dreams possible. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!